What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent and I'm back with another StreamYard update video. Yes, StreamYard is at it again. They have features that they're rolling out regularly and I'm gonna share with you some of the ones that they have announced, but I'm also gonna share a couple of them that they have not announced. Different tweaks and changes that they've made to the platform that I think you need to know and one or two that I think are game changers. Um, so stick with us and we'll dive into that right after this. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to media and technology at home for their families and at work for career success. And in this video, we're gonna dive into the new features and functionality of StreamYard. StreamYard has been a really good topic for us here on the channel. If you have been um, on this journey with us and you have not subscribed yet, we would ask that you take that time to do it right now. Um, here at How It All Works, we're on a mission to reach 1,000 subscribers. That's one. That's goal number one. And we're hoping that you can help us do that. And uh, so let's dive in. I'm gonna change to my desktop. And here we are uh, on the desktop. <clears throat> and I'm looking, I'm showing you my StreamYard screen. And uh, man, I'm telling you, they have, when I say they, they, they've just been busy. Uh, first thing I want to show, if you go to account and um, I want to say settings really, or is it, uh, maybe it's billing, yeah. So under billing and you have change plan, um, under the professional plan and basic plan, some things have changed. So number one, you now can do uh, three destinations under the basic plan. That was not there prior. So that's that's great. Now that you, you can actually you have you can stream to more than two destinations. So if you have the basic plan, um, think be thinking about how you can stream to more than two destinations and, and what that third destination might be, uh, depending on where you want your live content um, for the professional plan. However, you'll notice that that has been up to eight destinations and that's really great. That is really great. Um, but the other thing that is huge um, is, is that they've changed the, uh, the graphics quality. So full eight HD 1080p is now available uh, for the professional plan. And so for platforms like YouTube and LinkedIn where they actually accept 1080p, this is now an option for you to be able to use that um, for your for your for your your streams. Uh, I I mentioned this long before. Of course, you know we talked about uh, uh, being able to have more than uh, six people on screen. Now, now you can actually have ten people on screen, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. They're still you know sharing this as a new feature that they have in the system, but I also. I mean, I, I think I shared this in one of my last feature updates as well, that you do have the ability to do uh, 10 people on screen now, which is pretty good. I mean, that's that's actually, you know, really good things that they are sharing with us. The section I want to go to here is uh, we go back to that main screen broadcasts and I believe we go to uh, past broadcasts and some of my past broadcasts are here. But if, if you look at this now, um, it, it used to be that they would save them for seven days. One week is what it was uh, set to. You had to be, download them within seven days if you wanted to have a copy for yourself. They have upped that to 15 days, which is really good. If you have uh, done a podcast with a friend and you won't need to grab that audio, uh, you have now 15 days, which is double the time to be able to get in there and download it. I still make it a habit to go in and download those if I wanna ha hold on to them, especially for my How It All Works live show every Monday at 5.30, it's just a little plug. Um, I always make sure I get in there and download those immediately as soon as the show is over because I wanna have it, put it off on my cloud storage and just have a copy of it um, just in case you know I forget to go back in here and download those. But upping that from um, seven days to 15 days was was definitely a great uh, great thing for them to do. I'm gonna enter the broadcast studio here. I'm gonna turn off my, my camera and um, a microphone um, just because I don't wanna confuse anything in terms of the system and then what I'm using to, to, to do the broadcast as well. Um, uh, there's a couple of different things here that I think uh, are really cool. 
that they have made changes to. Um, one is, of course, in the overlays and video clips. They have separated the two. Um, in my previous videos, I've talked about you know uploading videos and uh, images to the overlay section. Well, they have now changed that to where you have video clips here um, that you can have your videos separate from your overlays. And so that's a really good uh, distinction that they've done, especially for somebody like me who has a little bit of OCD, wants to keep things organized. Um, that's that's something that I'm, I'm glad that they've done for us is to have that, that extra layer of granularity. Um, another thing that they've done, and in order for me to show this, I've got to I've got to enter the broadcast studio um, again on another tab. But another thing that they've done is they have actually uh, enabled us to be able to do some things on screen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enter the same test room. Just I'm just going into StreamYard twice on the same computer. We went over this in the um, video where I talked about connecting multiple cameras uh, to to StreamYard with one system. We went over you know the practice of actually going in there and just of course selecting a different camera. So now I've got two um, two sessions, uh, if you will, in the system. I'm going to add them both to the stream and that will enable me to be able to show you some things. If you, if you notice, that as soon as I put my mouse on top of these uh, video screen feeds, you'll see that I have uh, the three buttons on the video feed, which is really, and that kind of denotes, oh, I wonder what's there. So if we click that, you can remove it from the stream, you can do solo layout, and if you go back to it, you can do, you know exit solo layout. I don't find that that's more helpful than just clicking solo layout down here and clicking that back down over here. I feel like that's easier because here you have to actually hit the three buttons and then go down to it. But it, it is e it does especially when you get a lot of people in the studio and you don't have a lot of screen real estate. I find that this section down here gets very you know. Pack. If you want to go to one of these and just you know quickly make them the the solo layout, that does help, and it does highlight them in the in the bottom section so you can quickly find them and take them off of that solo layout mode. The other thing that I thought was really helpful, and this came in so handy for us, um, especially when I started to do custom overlays, which I'll show you right now. So I'm going to show you the, the feature, but I want to show you this custom overlay thing here. Uh, real quick and I'm, I'm and if you if you like these custom overlays you let me know in the comments let me know if that's something that you're interested in um, something that you want to see a video on how to do for yourself so I'm turning off you notice I'm going down here on the brand tab to the very bottom I'm turning off show display name so you see that you know at Kirk Arnugent on both of the displays has gone away and I'm going to go up here and put up a custom overlay. So these are from my show this past uh, Monday. And so you've got Kirk Nugent under on one and you've got Mario Maitland on the other. This is a lower third that I'm now using for my show um, in StreamYard. And so that's a nice, good, clean look, but here's the issue. And this is why this feature is so cool. Before, what if this person right here is Kirk is Mario and this person is Kirk right so now I would have to either go back into Canva which is where I designed these and flip-flop those um, or you have to add them into the system in the right order or else you won't be able to use your overlay what StreamYard has been able to do is give you the ability to just click on this video drag it over you see how that turns blue and drop it and then it swaps the two videos and so once you you know that you have it in the right place you can bring up that overlay and it, it'll give you a nice good clean look when you when you bring that on screen and you know it's the right person for the right lower third um, I'm gonna do that one more time like I said uh, I'll use a different one this time I know that it's a little confusing because both of the video feeds are showing my avatar but let's just say this person right here is uh, Pierre Quinn, all right? I have his lower third. And this person is, is me, Kirk Nugent. Well, if I click on the lower third for Pierre Quinn, you'll see that they're in the wrong places. So before I even do that, I would just simply say, okay, let me move myself. If I'm over here, if I, let me move my video over to the corner 
let that go, it swaps the two, and then I can bring up my lower third and have it in the right place. The other thing, I, why I like this is that sometimes um, you have multiple people on screen. I'm gonna take off this lower third. Uh, sometimes you have multiple people on screen and you want to highlight uh, the, the, the somebody who's speaking. So here's, a, here's one of the views. Of course, I just have two videos right now. Uh, you know what? We have the time. Let me, let me add yet another, <laughs> uh, let me add another one to StreamYard, you know, cause why not, right? <laughs> so I'm going to add a third into StreamYard right now. Same process I'm gonna do is just go to StreamYard, uh, add myself in there, turn off my camera and, and, and mute myself so that um, you, you don't have to hear me in triplicate. Um, I'm entering the studio. <clears throat> so now there's two people on screen. I'm going to add the third, right? So you've got three people on screen right now. This person is speaking and then one of these people starts speaking and you're like, well, I want to highlight that person. You can just drag and drop and it'll swap the two. And, and that is a really good feature that they've, they've added to this you know, version. I don't know, because I didn't see this in any of their updates, but I just started seeing like, man, that, those three buttons are there, what can I do with it? And I just began moving stuff around and realizing, oh, I, I have the ability to now uh, ch change the order of, of people on screen. And when you drag and drop it, it, it doesn't happen in, it, right that very second. It does it in a way that it looks really good and clean to the end user to the end viewer so that's another thing that StreamYard has done that I think um, is really really kind of great and uh, something that I, I really feel like is gonna be useful for those of us in the user community um, to use as we go forward well there you have it um, I'm hoping that uh, something in there was useful to you um, I'm gonna repeat this again if you want to see how to create those custom lower thirds in Canva, let us know in the comments. I will put together a video and show you exactly how I make my lower thirds. Um, my name is Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere along the journey in this video today that you were able to put some pieces together, that the light bulb went off, and you were able to figure out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video.